Got him like him alive, turn he went to sell books. Clap back calamity, survivalist, politics, revolutionary family, overseas and abroad, militant with expression. Right is all wrong, it's all about progression. I ain't so with MVP, on sports with the eye test. Analyze the game, listen to the digest. There's always a story behind the numbers. Pull up the charts, characters on the hunters. Air gas to a post in Princeton. Down south to the dry feet, talk to the city. We the voice to the people. Knowledge yeah. interviews, yeah. social life, the news, yeah. games and gossip soup. Council at the dog, council, council at the dog. Council at the dog, council, council at the dog. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show. I am your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight is... What's good, people? And tonight is season two, episode 32, and tonight we're talking about the Aaron Hernandez mur uh, suicide. But, you know, it's also telling why you thankful Thursdays. It's always telling why you thankful Thursdays. So what's good, Pina? How was your Thursday today? Okay, I don't have any complaints, you know what I mean? You got anything that you're a little thankful about? Just a little bit? I want to give an honor to God. I want to thank him for my health and strength. And I want to thank God for all my blessings. And that's it. That's, it, that's good enough. Good to be alive any day. Above the ground is a good day. But what's cracking? Tonight, um... We're talking about episode, excuse me, season two, episode 32. We're talking about the Aaron Hernandez um, suicide attempt for those guys that's been under a rock and don't know what's going on or who Aaron Hernandez is. He was a former star of the, um, <laughs> you okay over there, buddy? Yeah. Former star of the New England Patriots who um, went to jail and was currently facing life in prison for uh, murdering his friend, Olden Lynn Loy, I think I'm saying his name like Olden Loy. But at the same time, while he was in jail, he was also facing charges of a double murder for two other guys in the drive-by that they say he was uh, responsible for. But um, just five days ago, he was acquitted of the double murder charges and he beat those charges. So five day, well, a couple days ago, they found him hanging mysteriously hanging in his cell, and they say that he committed suicide. So you know, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists going on and a lot of people saying that you know it's bogus it doesn't make any sense for a guy who just beat a double murder who was in jail awaiting appeal on this current charge who had you know some high hopes and things of that nature why would he all of a sudden just up and kill himself after he was already serving time and doing things of that nature so we're going to talk about that tonight find out what um some of the people think about you know the situation and what's going on but what's good, Peanut? Nothing, chilling. You got your hookah, you got your wine, you good shmoney today? No, I'm good at pulling right. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to need that to get pulling, because when you get pulling and you get to popping, we start getting all type of uh, brainiac things coming out of that little peanut brain of yours. But shout out to Bear, shout out to Flo, shout out to Grind City, I see you, my dude. But what's good, Peanut? You, you, get it? you got it going now? Everything's all right? Still, you needed to get it together, sister. Get you it together, to get it let's together. go, team, go. Get it together, let's go, team, uh -oh, go. Uh-oh, Patriots fan, what he says? Yeah, so that's the that's also the, the weird thing that's going on. Now, um, according to Massachusetts state law, they're saying because he killed himself, um, that his crime, his conviction, isn't, he is not actually convicted of the first murder because he killed himself. It's some weird Massachusetts law. Now because he's dead that he's actually not guilty of the first murder and actually that his daughter and stuff is entitled to the remaining 15, 15 million dollars that the Patriots had owed him on his contract. And they want to examine his brain or something else for... Um what, CTN or something like that? ETN? They want to, it's like, you know, what the boxes get from... Oh, the, the, the brain the brain damage? Right. But there's a lot but of... But you can only see if you have that 
once the person is dead. Is dead. Like, so what's the use? So they just want to examine his brain. Pretty and much. And they denied uh, the attorneys that. All right, so for, the, for for those guys that's that's unaware of or been under a rock and don't know who Aaron Hernandez was, um, he went to the University of Florida. He was drafted fourth round, um, 113th pick in 2010. He played for the New England Patriots between 2010 and 2012, where he was alongside Gronk, the starting tight ends for the New England Patriots. And he was actually a very, very talented um football player now for the first murder that he did <clears throat> the double homicide murder right right tell me if i'm correct they they're saying his his friend was with him when and he was the um key witness to this and he said that someone bumped him in the club he uh left the club pissed he bumped him and made him spill his drink on himself he left the club pissed. Which murder are you talking about? The double or the or the single murder? The double. The double, okay. He left the club pissed, you know, he got a drink. The drink fell on him. And he actually went looking for the guy in his car. And he pulled up to a car that was packed with people and was like, what you going to do now, N-I-G-G-A? Mm. And shot off gunshots and killed two people in the car. All right, so Hernandez was investigation in, investigated in connection with a double murder that took place in July 16, 2012 in oh, Boston, South End, with Daniel George and Corey de uh, Abreu, 29, and Safrio Texan, both from you Dorchester. Welcome. They were killed by gunshots that were fired into a vehicle. On May 15, 2014, Hernandez was indicted on charges or murder charges for killing both Abreu and... Furtado, uh, with additional charges of of armed assault and attempted murder associated with the shots fired at the surviving occupants of the vehicle. The trial began March 1st, 2017, and on April 14th, Fernandez was found not guilty of the murders and most of the other charges. He was found guilty of legal possession of a handgun. Now, another thing is... Oh, you dropped the science, huh, sir? Oh shit! Yo, don't you like when she smoked this hookah? You see how engaged she is. Her mind is open up. Whatever. Ha happy whatever. 420, by the way. I don't know what's in that pipe. Happy 420, 420, but she a brainiac right now. I got some 420. Listen, Hold on. we need the um low battery. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll so what they said was that <clears throat> his friend who was in a car with him when he committed this murder. This is Olden Lloyd now. Olden Lloyd. Yes. Okay. He said that um, they were still friends. He had his back. He didn't tell anyone or whatever, whatever. He got drafted after that. They were cool or whatever, whatever. Then uh, he began to get worried and paranoid. And thinking Who's that this, his, Hernandez? Yes, thinking that his friend is going to tell. So... Cause you you know it be them niggas that be supposed to be your friends that be ratting with no pressure. I see Force 48 all the time. I know how it goes so, down. So... What happened was he um shot his friend. Shot, Allegedly. Shot his friend and that his friend actually survived and that's how it came out and he told him what 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 happened. So what, 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 what happened? That was the But <laughs> this friend of his is actually a criminal who did drug possession, um, he's in jail for shooting somebody, whatever, whatever. So his word isn't that, you know, credible. Which, right. But that's everything that happened. Yo, son, when you smoke that hookah, son, your brain just goes, wow. You see all of, she's engaged. She, take another pull, yo. It's like, you, you keep going, let me get this thing here situated. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that he actually killed himself? Well, no one else was there. So should the his um, family get the money? It sounds like he had like everything pointed against him. And I want to know the information of how did they find him as not guilty? Because on they, what? On the double murder? Right. Because all they had was circumstantial right, evidence. Right. Exactly. And then also, I mean, it was a lot of weird stuff about this. Um, Case they say they walked in and now all of a sudden they're saying that there was a Bible scripture written right. on his forehead. Right. It was um um God God's for God so loved the world he gave his 
he gave his only son that who shall be ever believe it <laughs> shouldn't perish. So you see how Ben? Yeah, get, get, don't worry about. It. I'm talking to Ben. Ben said you locked it in focus today. That's what I'm y'all talking so about. Stupid. She don't even watch football, but that hookah. Y'all stupid. I don't even know if that hookah. <laughs> so smell kind of funny. They said that he had incriminating tattoos on himself. That you know he had the gun actually tattooed that he supposedly the actual shot. murder gun yes the same on type his arm. And... wait with five bullets on his arm spilling from the gun which he actually shot off five shots five shots five yo son you was doing you was doing you you was doing your horror today or was that that, that hookah weed I'm making all of this up. Happy five, happy four twenty, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. She is enlightened tonight. So yeah, that's what we're talking about, um, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a call. We're gonna take a call and keep this thing moving. Call a nine six three five. You on live with the airgasm. Where you calling from? Yo yo yo, start what up? What up? Yo what up? yo, what's cracking, my dude? Happy four twenty, by the way. The clap back is in the yo. building. I see, I see, I see. Prissy got something in that hookah tonight. Huh? Ah, that, you see, you see that smoke on the live? It's cause it's not burning the same. That don't look like yeah, no fruit. She got, she got a little there. Y'all silly. She fucked. You guys actually, you guys actually put me on to some, um, to some things I didn't know really about the change and shit. But I, I, I kind of wanted to say something. I was thinking right. Okay. He might have killed you know, himself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he did or didn't. He wasn't dead, right? I'm right. I'm going to certain other facts. Not the gun tattoos Thanks. and the bullets and all that, but I've been in a couple of jail cells. <laughs> a, couple? Jail a couple? A couple. You a jail connoisseur? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, not kind of cool, but you know what I'm saying? It's just bad, bad places a couple of different times. You can write a Yelp review? <laughs> A couple, a couple of different counties, <laughs> but the, the the cells ain't that tall. He's six two. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm looking in, in my in my crib right now. I couldn't hang myself from a window in here right now. Is he only six two? Jail, so, so. Uh huh. No, I was just checking facts because you said he was six two. I thought he was a little taller than. That. Yeah, he's six two, two forty five. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see him recently, but I remember he was like two, like a prototype tight end and shit. Yeah, but. I, what you do? Uh oh. Something went wrong. Some Fuck! Something went wrong, you guys. Yeah. Damn it. And it wasn't me. Ah! Oh, shit. That's gonna be a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. Let me take. That's going to take a minute to reboot hmm. back up. This new hoop got me spinning. Shit. I brought uh, a new one. Um, Tell me when you see that bottom light come back on. The red, it's going to turn green? Um. Oh, Facebook Live is still going right there, so you can keep talking. Oh, they're still, you guys are still here. I thought you guys got cut off. We haven't had technical difficulties. Yeah. But, do you guys think that he was, the elevator didn't go up in, all the way anyway, because it takes a lot for someone to actually kill, kill themselves. themselves. Um, so I wonder if it just goes beyond him just being in jail uh, for murder. Uh, did he go through things in jail, or did they have him on quote-unquote because he was a celebrity isolated from everybody else so he wasn't in like that real hardcore gel you know what i mean right like um um isolation and away from general pop is what you're saying and none of the family members are talking i wouldn't talk either because right now you know my heart goes out to the family because anytime that's that's hurt you know what i mean that's pain right. you know especially for his mother, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure if he had kids or anything like that. You know, his kids, you know, anytime when you lose someone, that is a, a, a big tragedy. And um, their family is probably going through a lot right now. 
and even having him in jail that's a lot and then on top of that he killed himself like that's that's crazy crazy right right when he could have been released you know i know he got um rose said he has a daughter oh he has a daughter see that's crazy i know that he got charged for possession of the gun right he on did, the on the double murder right he did get charged for that but um killing himself i want to know if you guys thought think that murder. you know right he did get charged for that but um killing himself i want to know if you guys thought no, think um, that murder. you know right. he did get charged i can't talk <laughs> can't <laughs> we talk. we can sing together but you know we can't talk together i want to know if you guys think that um he was crazy or if you know who who knows his background on how he grew up and you know what he went through in life because I feel like um, anyone who kills themselves, this is just my personal opinion, I'm not a doctor or anything, but anybody that kills themselves um, has to uh, have, have a some, couple screws loose. Exactly. Because killing, we were just actually talking about the this. The other day. Yeah, Billy was trying to punch himself in the face. and you I was know, trying really hard too. Right. You know, he couldn't, couldn't punch, work. He couldn't punch himself in the couldn't face. Couldn't come to it. So how can he actually <laughs> kill himself and knowing that he has a family and he has a daughter, um... Life is worth living, but instead he decided to take his own life. Not even that. I mean, things weren't, I mean, un, things were bad under the circumstances, but I mean, he just got off on the double murder, right? Right. Then on top of that, you still had an appeal in place. Exactly. So it wasn't, it wasn't like things were over for him and he... Definitely had to do life or whatever. Things were on on, on the up and up for him, so. Show I don't know, it just sounded one. a little Since it appears suspect. you're calling back into a live show, we are reconnecting you now. We're reconnecting. All right, Sonny, you... <laughs> Sonny is back. Sonny, we good? We had a little technical issue. You guys can hear him, right? Sonny, speak to the people. Yeah, we good now. We had a little, little snafu. Wait, hold on, y'all can hear me all that time? No, <laughs> no, 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 you no. was talking to yourself pretty much for like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so start back yeah. like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. It's okay, because people that talk to themselves are very in tune with they self. They're not crazy. They're very extremely smart, and they can Yo, work life you. out. Go ahead. Maybe if he would have talked to, it, to it, himself. It, it, it was quiet. Yo, it was quiet. I didn't know if I said, damn, I don't know if everybody can hear me or if y'all can hear me. So I, I just kept talking. I said, yeah, I feel like I'm in the woods talking to myself. I don't know. <laughs> they kept saying mute and unmute. I said, damn, nigga, Bugs is giving me a signal and shit. I got to read the signal. Nah, man. I, I did a DHM move and kicked the power button on the um on the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi went out and I couldn't get no controls of the boards. All right, so what was you saying, your original thought that we didn't hear? <laughs> wait, hold, um, the original thought, wait, 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 hold on. Um, we saw Aaron Hernandez. I don't think he hung himself. He might have. Um, what, what was he saying? <laughs> Happy um, 420 to um, you, my um, G. I'm um, fly, I'm um, um, fly. Zen. Nah, but yeah, we yeah, was... I was I was Sonny, you good? Yeah. You all right? You 420? Yeah, yeah, so I'm good. I'm all right. good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll come back to the bottom. Yeah, day. yeah. I just pulled the fucking... We, yeah, I just pulled the fucking Walter Cronkite and just talked for like 10 minutes and shit. That was the, um... Yeah, yeah, I forgot what I said. That was the three-card money to throw you off to make you think it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, it was. And shit. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here, though, man. I don't think he did it, man. I think... I mean, I don't know. I mean, Larry Davis got killed in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like people do shit to come up, so that's a possibility. You know right. And, um, right. I didn't, I didn't do the whole homework in, in, in how many people ever got killed in that jail. It's a wild jail, but come on, man, jail cells ain't that big. But was you know he in a facility really with? Was was he in a facility with the rest of the rest of the inmates? Was he that, in Gym Pop or exactly. was he in um like? Yeah, he just he just got back to Gym Pop. He was in he was in he was in as say. Uh, first, he got he had two incidents since he's been in, in two years. He was in the state pen. He was in one incident. He was a lookout for another person that was fighting for something. 
And the other time, he got a shank. And the last one for the shank landed him in Aztec. The wow. day he got out of Aztec, was that day that he hung himself. Damn. And he got out of Aztec. You know what I mean? He hung himself. Or he got out of Aztec, he got a body. Either way, he's not here. Um, usually, in situations like that, I know people that got both 50s in jail and shit like that. I got teeth knocking out. And, and, um, they get their teeth fixed, and the state pays for certain stuff because they're responsible for that. Right. So, if the state is negligent for that, even if he committed suicide, it's supposed to be suicide proof. His daughter deserves some bread. Right. Now they saying, saying under this um like this. They saying under this Massachusetts law, there's a weird loophole in the law that says because he's dead that he's actually not convicted of the first murder, which then in turn make the New England Patriots responsible for paying to his family that additional fifteen million dollars that was owed on his contract. So maybe he knew this. Yeah, maybe he really. thought he felt like he was uh, worth Ooh. more dead Yo, than alive. You see maybe this he... great idea she come up with with this hookah? <laughs> That's a good theory, yo, son. Yeah, that For was, real. That, that was that was quick too. That was what? Quick. Take, take another poll. You might come up with something genius again. <laughs> yo, son, you see what I'm dealing with here? Do you see the difference yeah, in my co-host from night to night? Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I, 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 gotta, I gotta see if I can get on Facebook Live or something so I can, I can see what y'all doing. Y'all on Facebook Live, right? Absolutely. Streaming on the Gonzo page. What about, what about IG? How many devices you think we got, my G? <laughs> I'm saying, because Prissy, because she, I know she, I know she loves um, Facebook. You know, Facts. Facebook, yeah. I don't do IG. Yeah. Once in a while, you'll see me on there, but... I'm really not all for the picture, picture thing, like you know, a picture. Everybody's on there, like, you know what I mean? Man, you gotta show some titties. But yo, Sonny, we appreciate your call, Mungie. Yes, sir. All right, stick with us, rock out with us. All right, so we had a bit of difficult te technical difficulties, but we back, we live. We appreciate you guys for sticking with us. Tonight is season two, episode thirty-two. We talking about the hand. Aaron Hernandez suicide. Do you guys believe that it was a real suicide or do you guys believe that it was some conspiracy cover up? We want to know what your theories is, how you feel oh shit. How you feel about this um this situation? But um at this point of the show, we have to pay some bills. This portion of the show is brought to you by sportsforprofit.com. There's at least nine things you can do to turn your passion into profit. We're going to pay some bills and we're going to get right back to Stay you. Stay with us. We got some callers on the line. Call up. We want to hear from you we guys. We want to hear your thoughts and opinions. So, um, you know, it's the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight. And we'll be right back, y'all. We'll be, I'll be back. Shop Golden Child ENT for the latest oh, Golden Child yeah, I got ENT another issue. music, and yeah, much control more. Yeah, When it starts Just to get down, the press the next commercial. Oh, Golden hell. Child ENT. How do I do that? And click on Just the Shop Golden Child ENT tab there. for your shopping options. Where the hell is my In addition, visit us on eBay at Golden Child ENT. We may get cut off again because now I have to do this and I don't know what I'm doing. That's www.goldenchild.com. All I want to do is smoke hookah and drink some water and talk shit. Now he's he talking to me do something else. Golden Child ENT. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's see what I can do. 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 Are you a sports fan interested in ways that you can make money from your passion of sports? If so, you really need to check out sportsforprofit.com. Did you know there are at least nine things you can do right now to monetize your sports passion? To learn more, visit our website at www.sportsforprofit.com and turn your passion into profit. The next one is coming press play. For the latest in entertainment, new music, videos, fashion, and worldwide news, log on to www.goldenchildent.com. Updated on a daily basis for to get you, for, you up to date. For you guys with the latest, that are just Golden tuning Child in, ENT we are speaking about social media, Aaron Hernandez Facebook, Instagram, and his Twitter, suicide. and Google Plus. Golden Child ENT. We shine brighter. Oh, this shit is muted. For the latest in entertainment, new music, videos, fashion, and worldwide news, log on to www. Are we back? 
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome we're to the back. Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight, eh? And this is season two, episode 32. We're talking about the Aaron Hernandez suicide. Suicide. We want to know what, what your guys' thoughts are on it. Do you really believe he committed suicide? Or do you think... What up, Rich? Or do you think it was some type of conspiracy cover-up theory that was going on with them guys? Shout out to Rich, Rich Fanatic, my dude. What's good? Hi, Rich. I really need to get this. Um, you need to get. It. You need to get it together. Son. I am not on my dean today. You need to smoke some hookah. <laughs> uh, happy 420 for everybody that's out there. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Gonzo After Dark Radio. We on all on all social media platforms. We on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and tonight is favorite Facebook. Quick question. It's a little off the subject with this 420 thing. <laughs> so when did this start? Because this is my first time ever hearing about it. Um, does this mean that it's legal for everyone to smoke today? Or what does that mean? Or it's just something that every they just made up because it's April 20th? Smoke weed every day. Um, Was uh, this, is this a Snoop Dogg holiday that he put it, into effect? It's like, a cold term that was referred to by the consumption of cannabis, especially smoking cannabis, around the time of 420 p.m. or 420 a.m. or 1620, 24 hour rotation. The smoke and celebration of cannabis on this day, which is 420 in the USA. Does that make any sense to you? When did this start? <laughs> you the enlightened one. You it should... started today. It's, no, it's been a couple of years now, at least, because, you know, um, I went to uh, Denver for 420 a couple of years ago to get that experience. And, um... and boy, was he hot. <laughs> Allegedly. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just there to see Rick Ross and Snoop Dogg. I was like, Billy, where are you? Where are you right now? Uh, uh, I'm in Denver. No, where are you in Denver? <laughs> I wanted to know where he was at, you know, because he was like out of his mind. And he kept telling me he was in Denver. Already knew he was in Denver. Well, you asked the question, no, I gave you I an know. answer. Where you at? Like, if you had anybody there to help you or anything, and you just kept telling me you were in Denver. The cannabis gods had my back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, happy 420, June. I see you, my dude. Smoke his, weed it, every day. It's Hitler's my... birthday? No, it says it says 420. Hitler's, bir Hitler's birthday. Oh, Hitler. I... Oh, he said Hitler? He, he did say Hitler. Hitler? Why do you know that? And are you celebrating that? Did you pour out some liquor for Hitler? Seriously. Why, who, the, who the hell knows that? Did your phone go off this morning and give you a reminder that it's Hitler's birthday? That's funny. He said it's Hitler's birthday. Why, why does he know Hitler 420? It damn sure is. The nigga's birthday. He's smoking weed and talking about something. 1889. This motherfucker. Died in 1940. Damn, he died 10 days after his birthday. Ain't that a bitch? He look crazy as hell. Man, he's definitely crazy. He be like... But why would you have that mustache like that? <laughs> <laughs> that is the dumbest mustache ever. Because he's crazy. <laughs> it must have been popping back then because no, Charlie Chapman had the same no, mustache. Charlie Chapman's mustache was longer than... What? Him. Charlie Chapman it had the exact wider. same mustache. Wider. You bugging, son. Look, Charlie Chaplin shit is the same mustache, son. He don't look as crazy as the other guy. He look just as crazy as Hitler. They could be twin brothers. I'm not being racist saying all white people look alike, but Charlie Chapman and Hitler look like brothers. Nah, No, they don't. Kenny said he's drinking water to that. Oh, he must be monitored at the job. <laughs> Angus ain't drinking. Nah, Junior be on his health kick shit. He be taking all the bars off the um, off the off the racks and putting them on the thing and then lifting them up with his legs. He puts all the bars on each side, so it's like twelve bars Jesus. on each side of the thing. Wow. <laughs> he, he'd be like, "This is light work." But yeah, we're talking about Aaron Hernandez, famed football player. Uh, somebody once asked, once said to me earlier today. They said, "Um, 
Hi, Candy. With all that that was going on, why would he actually kill himself? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I said, well, if you've seen the Caliph Brada story and seen what the system and the jails can do to you, it could actually turn you crazy. When you're hearing voices and things that you, and the person that you used to be, you no longer become. Like, jail makes you that type of individual. Well, I was thinking that could have be true because... Sonny actually said that um, he had a shank on him and then he was a lookout for someone else. Maybe he was already... A little baddie baddie? Yeah. Like, a little trouble teen? It had to be in him anyway from, okay, now that his friend is a criminal, like, I feel like birds of a feather flock, flock together. together. Like, oh, my friend is a killer, but I'm not. Like, you guys are in this together and... You know, that's why they kept the secret together. But probably when he got his little fame and got accepted to the Patriots, his friend was looking at him sideways like, where you going? We both criminals. You trying to make it, my nigga? Right. You, you think you better than me. us? You trying to make something out of your life? You ain't no better than us. Come shoot these niggas up. Right. Your life is crazy. People really be hating like that, you know. He got a little talent. He can finally make it out the hood. And he's telling you to come back to the hood. Let's go clubbing. Right. Nah, my G, I'm good. And he probably was saying little things to his friend, like, yeah, you making it there, you know, nobody knows what you did or who you were. I'm going to tell. And he was like, I got to get rid of him. I really <laughs> think he did shoot him. You think he shot his yeah. friend? He had too much to lose, and, right? He exactly, was a liability. Exactly. I don't know, but if that's the case, he ain't do it right because there should have been no way that should have been um, backtracked to him. He was sloppy. Sloppy? Sloppy did him uh Poor thing. And what would you say some girls want to have sex with? Yo, him? so earlier today, I was going through, scrolling through the gram or whatever. You know, you see a couple of posts. And you click on the comments or whatever. There's a lot of females out there mm -hmm. that found him extremely attractive and said that they would give him some while he was in prison. Well, females give people that don't have no money some in prison and wait for them and everything else. So I don't see them not saying that. Well, I don't know his... Fi well, I, I didn't know his financial situation. I don't know after all the legal fees if he's still holding anything, but um, I'm sure these legal fees took a big chunk of his bread away, though. But you saw a picture of him. What do you think? You think he was a handsome dude? Yeah, he was good looking. You would have gave him some? When? Does it matter? <laughs> Not while he's in jail. I'm going to be. You get locked up. I'm not coming to see nobody. I'm not writing no letters. Maybe one or two. Damn, you gonna send a nigga a kite? I said maybe one or two. One or two. So then I gotta get a phone, a phone in order just to, to to talk to you. Oh, you know what? Now that you can actually talk, email people in jail now, and have conversations. Yeah, but. But who got time for that? No, it's not even only that. They want to charge you per email going in and per email going out. Jail systems think they slick, yo. You're getting that money. They How got... much is it per email? A dollar? No, it's, it's like sending a letter. So it's like 15 cent or... Oh, that's not bad. So Kenny says, according to Massachusetts law, he does not owe the family any money. Oh, the, you're talking about the family of the uh, the victim? Must be talking about... So, Okay. On August 27, 2012, the Patriots signed Hernandez to a five-year contract extension running through 2018. The $12.5 million signing bonus was the largest ever given to an NFL tight end. Wow. And the $40 million total was the second largest extension ever after teammate after his teammate of uh, Rob Gronkowski, who got $53 million. So he had, he had some change. He had a little bit of bread. And I think to this point... Um, the Patriots still owe him some money on that contract because it still didn't go through, you know, 2018. So that money, technically now that it's um, that he's dead, according to Massachusetts state law, should go to his family. Should go right? to his family because according to this law, he's not um, actually. They're gonna need it because they don't they don't get any insurance or anything because he killed himself. Damn, she ain't getting no life insurance for that. You, he can forget that. Chalk that up. So let's see. Um, 2012, base salary 540000 Sign a bonus 2.5 for being on a roster. Another hundred grand for working out. You get 96000 
the cap hit cap deadline that year, the first year he made nine point nine million dollars. Some bread, boy. You need to go play some football. Shit, I wish I could. I got a softball game this this weekend and I'm regretting to go to. My knee hurting right now for no reason. Football is America's favorite sport. Is it? Yes, it is. It's past baseball? Yeah, football. For fat? For fat. You're so America's smart when you favorite. smoke that hookah. <laughs> I'm not even going to question if she's right or not. When she's smoking that hookah, she's second behind Google. No, it is. <laughs> you stupid. You like Google little sister. Google it. When, no, I'm a tonight it. I'm a peanut it. When, I, when, this, <laughs> when this internet go down again, I'm going to be like, so tell me, peanut, how much did Aaron Hernandez make in 2013? She's going to be like, Bro, Bro said 7. I'm right. Bro said I'm right. I know. Yo, bro, I'm not. When, it, when you see that hookah pipe, I'm not even questioning it. All facts. <laughs> Your mother said <laughs> you too little for football. Mama Bugs is a hater, but when <laughs> I get that check, though, when I get that check. He could, he could, you know, run in and out and nobody could catch him. I'm buy her another Yaris just because she said that. And leave it right. Any any color she wants. Any color you can have another Yaris. <laughs> Keep talking. I'm going to try out for football this season. <laughs> you just getting a Yaris. Oh man. But yo, this, we gotta take. We gotta pay some bills. Pay the bills. All right. So this portion of the show is brought to you by SportsForProfit.com. There's at least nine things you could do to turn your passion into profit. So check out SportsForProfit.com. Right now is a good time, especially with the NBA playoffs going on, the NHL players going on. You got the baseball season in full effect, auto racing, everything. So check you ain't got to really know much about the sport. All you got to do is check out sportsforprofit.com, and they'll show you how to make this bread. Um, it's the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight, And tonight is season two, episode 32. We're talking about the Aaron Hernandez murders. Uh, I mean, excuse me, suicide. Do you believe it was a suicide? Do you not believe it's a suicide? What are your thoughts? We want to know. Also, it's tell us why you're thankful Thursday. So if you want to just call up and tell us why you're thankful Give son, us your testimony. We'll be glad to hear it. So we're going to pay some bills and we get right back to you, y'all. It's the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark. Stick with us. Shop Golden Child ENT for the latest Golden Child ENT merchandise, music, and much more. It's going to be a problem. Going Just log on to www.goldenchildent.com. I don't want none of your crap. And click on the Shop Golden Child ENT tab for your shopping options. Yeah, you're going to have me like Gator talking about, I got new dance, mama. I got new dance. For a variety of nah, quality goods and name brand products at tremendous savings. That's www.goldenchildent.com. Or visit us on eBay. And remember... And remember Golden Child ENT. We shine, we shine bright. brighter. Are you a sports fan interested in ways that you can make money from your passion of sports? If so, you really need to check out sportsforprofit.com. Did you know there are at least nine things you can do right now to monetize your sports passion? To learn more, visit our website at www.sportsforprofit.com and turn your passion into profit. For the latest in entertainment, new music, videos, fashion, and worldwide news, log on to www.goldenchildent.com. Updated on a call daily basis. Call up 646-668-8649. We want to hear from you. That's 646 Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. 668-8649. We shine brighter. We are back live on this Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight up. And tonight is season two, episode 32, and we're talking about the Aaron Hernandez suicides. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that are now just tuning in either to Facebook Live or to the show itself. Um, in order to hear the show... You must still log on. Oh, oh, they can hear it live now, right? They can hear it. All right, good they money. I, I fixed it, Jesus. I fixed it. But normally you have to log on to our website at www.gonzoafterdark.com. Hit the media player in, in the middle and you can listen to the show live as it streams. And hear the callers and um, 
the music clips and the commercials and and, and and all the stuff that we're playing directly through the thing. But I think I worked it out and I fixed it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. But tonight Can you fix it? is uh, season two, episode 32. We're talking about the Aaron Hernandez suicide. Now, when I first heard it, I was shocked. Why? Because, like, it was just five days ago that he was acquitted of the double murder. Like, that was another, like, double life, triple life sentence that he could have been facing on top of the current one that he was facing. And then on top of that, I knew for a fact that he had the, the pill in place. So, I mean, logically, from a conspiracy theorist viewpoint, I can see how people could be like, this is BS. Why would he kill himself? But then after, like I said, watching the Khalif Brada story and seeing how solitary confinement, um, being in a hostile environment on a daily basis, I can see how that can change a person and have them go crazy to the point where they want to have suicidal thoughts and actually commit suicide. Like, you could be just a normal, average, average, everyday Joe and experience that jail system, which is supposed to be designed to rehabilitate a person but what it really does what it seemed to do is make you more into a criminal than it does on a rehab side so i could see how from that point it turned him a little crazy maybe that he wanted to end it all okay note to self never get locked up facts and everybody crazy never makes sense that's why it's called crazy when you're crazy it you doesn't do crazy make sense. shit right be like, that doesn't make sense. But you not factor in he might be crazy. crazy. Crazy don't do normal shit. Crazy do abnormal shit. You be like, but he was so normal. He just, he's crazy now. And you got to throw all that out the window. And people that are actually normal and functioning through daily basis of life, you have to be built a certain way and be strong in order to withstand uh, trials and tribulations. Like, some people, one thing hit them, and it's all over Crumble. for them, and they can't withstand. So, you know, you have to look at that factor also. And then right, what type of individual was he? Was he a strong-minded individual, or was he a weak-minded individual? I don't know, because if we look at his past and see, it seems like he was a little of a follower and wanted to be in the, you yeah, know, he was around the crowd. A, so, a it wasn't like he had the most outstanding, shining leadership abilities from jump. He should have started his own football team in jail. I, I did see a movie like that, too. I think Nelly was in it. He was running around the field, <laughs> the field barefooted. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing a country dude. I think that was 10 yards or something like that. But right, yeah. he could have went to jail and, you know, been... Been productive. Right, do something positive or, you know... You know, I see what goes on in this jail. I'm going to be an advocate and, you know... Reform exactly. and... Exactly. But he actually followed suit to that jail mentality. Where he was a lookout making shanks. Right. He so thought he, he was in an episode of Oz. <laughs> you know what? He probably said to himself, look, I know I did the double murder. I'm, I'm going to be in here forever anyway. Can't beat him, join him. Think hey, that's it? Like, I'm, I'm saying, if he was innocent and they already... Did he know about being acquitted? Absolutely, it was five days ago. If you see the, in the internet and the pictures and stuff of him crying, that's because when he got the, the news that he was acquitted, he instantly broke out into tears, cried, he blew kisses to his daughter, everything. It Maybe he like... felt like he couldn't make it in the world. Maybe he felt like, oh, when I get out, I'm not going to be able to withstand, I'm not going to be what everybody want me to be in their eyes. I, I can't I can't do this. You think the pressures of society and Probably. outside sources was too much for him to bear and Probably. he just wanted to end it all? Right. When reality sets. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I don't know. Put yourself in Aaron Hernandez's shoes. Let's say you did some things, they locked you up. I don't want to be in his shoes. We're just doing a hypothetical situation. I Take a deep pull. I don't do hypothetical. All right, so you talk for the next 15 minutes since you just killed my segment. All right, go ahead. <laughs> nah, son. You got to be creative now. Since you want to be the killjoy and can't kill my segment, you talk for the next 14 minutes, smartass. 
what I want to talk about is, is what do you guys think about him? Do you think that he would have been able to, you know, come out and be able to be a great football player? Was he, when he was playing football, was he a major star? He was a star. Or- he was a, definitely a star for the Patriots. Half of their wow. offense was geared around him and Grunt. They were the two top receivers on the team. Wow. That's why they 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 gave him that big bread, because they saw a, you know a promising future. But how long ago was that? Was that twenty ten, twenty ten, and then he got the extension in twenty twelve. Right. So, so that after was two what? years. That was seven years ago when he was top person. Five years ago, actually. Five years yeah, ago. Yeah, five years ago. Maybe he just couldn't function anymore. Crazy. That name cray cray. I don't know. I don't think there's pretty much too many um, instances where I consider I could consider killing myself. What would make this... any one incident that'll make you kill yourself? Anything. What What do you think will <laughs> make you kill yourself? <laughs> what would make me kill myself? Yeah. If my penis couldn't get hard no more and I couldn't have sex. Oh, you weak. <laughs> You, you are weak. If my shit could get hard, and I can't let it, I can't drill team. Oh, you weak. Dude, don't judge do, me. Judge, do don't judge things. me. Don't judge me. Do what that mouth do? It don't do shit. It don't do what this drill does. Damn that. You could get a little um piece to put there. In my mouth? No, around a uh, strap on. Who do you think I'm young and man? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna be sitting there with my hands on your head while you deep throat my strap on. Nah, I'm good. Viagra, all that stuff that makes you hard, you can get that. No, I'm saying Instead of I'm, killing I'm yourself. saying if my shit don't work. Viagra don't work, Cialis don't work. All that stuff. It is just like that. I think it's time to check out. Oh, you ridiculous. I'm dickless. Ah! You ridiculous. <laughs> nah, son. That right there. Yeah, that. Time to go. I don't know how I would do it, but I'll do it. That's ridiculous. I gotta have. I'm a Scorpio. It's in my blood. You know. Wait till we get off this air. Drill team. <laughs> oh, I don't even. Oh, I don't know. You start stuttering. I say drill team. Uh-uh, I I'll get that shit tatted right here. Drill team. I Roll only, you down with the drill team. Drill I only, team. I only want Henny Dick. I got some upstairs too. It won't take long for that shit to kick in. That's Drill it. team. That's all you need. You don't need no Viagra. Just have some Henny. Fact. They though. should put Henny in pills. It might work. It might be cheaper than these pills. I heard these pills are like thirty dollars a pop. Just let me tell you guys. Drink Henny before you have <laughs> sex. It works. Shout out to Ro. He said, "Well, we know he can't kill himself by punching himself to death." <laughs> Cause I tried that last Almost week. Almost soft punches. I ain't even leave a dent, a scar, nothing. I, I was throwing haymakers. You wasn't even throwing nothing. I was throwing. Hay- you want to see it again? Go ahead. Mm. See? Haymakers. How you punch yourself in the face and smiling afterwards? Because I'm not crazy. <laughs> that punch right there knocked the average nigga out. Let me hit you like that just then. No, we talk about you punching yourself out. I did. You didn't do nothing. I gave it my best shot. <laughs> I did my best, but my I guess my best, best wasn't, wasn't good, good enough. <laughs> knock your punk ass out, though. You can't knock me out. What do you mean I can't knock you no, out? No, I'm too fast for that. Too fast? Shit, we're going to get to get these views on Facebook Live when I knock your ass out. Everybody can scream, World Star! Is World Star still up? I don't know, but you ain't knocking me out. Yo, keep talking shit, son. I'm going to knock your ass right the <laughs> fuck out <laughs> on Facebook out. Live. Set. I'll knock a bitch out. You think because you got titties that I won't knock you out? I don't discriminate. <laughs> knock your ass out for a few likes. What? I'm knocking you out for some likes. <laughs> keep it up. I want niggas to hit that like button, like button, and show it to their friends like, yo, this nigga really knocked her out for some likes. It's for the show. You just got to take that on the chin. You Nigga. can't even file for divorce. Whatever. I'll it's for the benefit have... of the show. Who is smiling over this? What you mean? See, niggas want to see you get knocked out, son. Keep talking shit. Bang Zoom, Alice 2017. <laughs> you going to be the new Alice. I wish you would. 
Make my night. Let me spin my hat back because you about to get make this Make my day. Go I'm about to make, make your week, my nigga. Keep it up. <laughs> you gonna wake up like, oh, I miss work. It's y'all, Sunday. Y'all gonna see Billy get fucked up on <laughs> here. <laughs> Straight fucked up. You see the size of her hands? This is like a midget's midget's hand. That's that's like, little tranny hands. My hands. Who's, knock, who's she knocking out with these little tranny hands? Listen, this is what deceives you. You think it can't knock you out, but when you feel you the see power, how fat my cheekbones is? I would I eat that, literally eat that punch. And spit it up. Go ahead, take your bet. Go ahead. That's how niggas get their jaw broken. Go ahead, take your best shot. Wow. I could punch you and you won't be mad about it? Mad about it? I won't be mad, but... You're not going to uh, retaliate? Why wouldn't I retaliate? Let My me, mother told me somebody hit me, you, I better hit it back. You said let me p- let you punch me Yeah, but the, well, every action causes a reaction. Let me punch you in your face. I'm going to let you punch me in my you face, tough. but I can't tell you how I'm going to react. Nigga. You can't be mad at how I react. It's like you walking up to somebody randomly and slapping them in the face, and then you expect them not to do nothing back. You ever got punched in your face before? Yeah, I got punched in my face before. You, I, you, you should have got punched in your face. He talk mad shit. You probably got punched in your face more than once, right? Now I got punched in my face... More than once, right? No, one time that I could actually remember. That shit was no joke. <laughs> Yo, you know how in the cartoons, when they get hit with something, they, they see, see the, lights, the, the, stars? No, the stars going around their head? I saw that in my eye, because he punched me in my eye. And it was like flashes of light. So it was like the stars were going in my eyelid, but my eye was open. So that, did you retaliate or you couldn't? You couldn't get it together. And when you punched me in the face, I was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> you said we got to get out of here. These niggas is jumping me. <laughs> Y'all just going to let these niggas jump me. It was only it one, was one punch. nigga, one punch. <laughs> Pow, these niggas is jumping me. They everywhere. <laughs> I was fighting like nine niggas that night. It was one nigga that punched me in the eye. One guy punching me in the face. One nigga punched me in the eye. And you said, we got to get out of here? We got to get out of here. <laughs> Grab my mans. Get your stuff. These niggas crazy. They shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get punched in the face. You start thinking niggas is jumping. Niggas is shooting out here. I got shot in the face. I ain't get punched in the face. I got shot in my eye. Niggas shot me. That's the only way I... Yeah, so the next day, right, I had a shiner. Shit was black, right? I, I clothes looking like um, Larry Holmes and shit when he was fighting. When you he was had fighting a black eye? What? Oh, black eye? Really My shit was closed like this. Hey, did y'all see who hit me? So, you know, the next day, when you walk around the next day, niggas like, damn, son, what happened to your eye? You know I had to hit him with the you basketball. Of course. You know, I was playing ball and shit. I was scoring, I was also on like 34, came down the middle, and nigga just elbowed me. Uh! That's what I was rocking with. Did you take a picture? Hell no. This is before digital phones and all that shit. This is back when it was like a Polaroid. Like you had to click, zzzz, and you had to fan it. This is the type of days we talking about. We ain't talking about this instant digital. Everything gets uploaded to Instagram and all that crap. I got punched in my face once. You look like you need to get punched in your face. Were you talking shit like you was just talking shit to me? No, I wasn't. I want to punch her in the face right now. My friend was fighting, you know. She was crying afterwards, and I'm talking to her, da da da. Da da da. When somebody say da da da, they lying or boom. If she say boom, you know it's a lie. I can't remember this girl name. It's a lie. She was like, "Is she okay?" And I turned around, whop, for no reason. That story don't even make sense, son. You lying? I'm not lying. She punched me in my face for no reason. I know you know how I know you lying. Why? Cause you ain't say dead ass B. I don't even know what dead ass B means. Exactly, you lying, son. Who says are you okay and turn around and somebody randomly punch you in the face? That's what she did to me. She asked me, "Is she okay?" I turned around to answer her and walked right in my face, and I was so, so your shocked. friend was crying. Yeah. Some random person asked you if well, your she, friend is well, okay. Well, she knew all. We knew all each other. I forgot her name, but her name was ass whooping. Right. <laughs> She said, is she okay? I turned around oh, and to her. Hold on. She we, punched me okay. in my face. This is probably a person that punched you in the face. Let's take a caller. You got me not even paying attention to the boards. Caller 8004. You on live with the Airgasm Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? 
What's good, brother? You from Long Corner from Brooklyn, Texas. D, what's good, my dude? What's popping? What's good, man? Chillin', chillin'. All chillin', right. Touch tonight. You can't even touch this Aaron Hernandez story, or you want to punch Peanut in the face too? <laughs> I just want to know because she gonna get punched in her face before this 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 season is over. But what's good? But why? He thought about it though. Right. He's you, like, ha, 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 ha. you thought about it. You want to take a punch, right? She like he like she is a bitch. Oh. Take your glasses off because everybody feels sorry about hitting the person with glasses. Nah, I don't hear females. Bitches get punched in the face. We can make an exception because she's kind of bitchy on most days. <laughs> nah, but what's good? You came to touch this Aaron Hernandez story? Yeah, man, I'm going to touch on that real quick, man. Bring first, me a you know, my first reaction was like, fucking good, um, you know what I'm saying, for killing himself, what it may be. But then I thought about his daughter. Right. And I was like, damn, like, it, you know, even though what he did with his brother, he, was, he didn't think about his daughter nothing in that situation. I just think that it's horrible. Well, she don't have a father, but she might get fifteen million dollars. Now, what's better? Wait, hold on, D. So, what's better, her having a father that would have served life in prison that she would have probably never got to really interact with, or her receiving fifteen million dollars from his uh, death? That's something to think about. Like putting a value on a life thing you do that though. You know what I mean? I mean I understand what you're saying. He, he she would have had no contact with him. Right. In some senses. I'm quite sure. It, it, I mean it, it, a letter or something, I mean she could have wrote a letter, she could have a letter. I just think that you know what I it's messed up either way. When you're talking to the jail for mother's life and the fact that he's dead. Like it's, it's a it's a horrible situation. So it's kinda like I can't put a value, you know what I'm saying, on a, 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 a life. I know, but it's a little easier to it's a little easier to deal with inside of a Bentley. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I mean, when you driving in a Bentley, it, it, I mean, damn, R.I.P. Dad, but damn, this sunroof is nice. <laughs> You're materialistic. <laughs> but. But look about all the, all the things that he would have possibly missed because he was in jail. Uh, her her um, graduations, Everything. weddings, Everything. you know. Also, yeah. So he was basically done for unless he won this appeal. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think he. I heard they said that he um beat like two of the charges. Or something. Right. The the double murder. He got acquitted of the double murder, but he was still serving time, right. a life for the first, the first, the first single murder charge of his friend, Lloyd, Olden Lloyd. Right. So he had an appeal in for that one, that that didn't even get um underway yet. Seconds. It's horrible because. I I really couldn't see all but I just find it funny. Oh, maybe because after watching the whole situation, you know, with the um. Well, with him that died in righteous. Well, not that died in righteous. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, Khalif brother. It made me think about, you know, right, Khalif brother. So it kind of had me thinking, like, this dude was in a maximum security prison, right? And he hung himself. Like, it's kind of, like, I can't, I'm having a hard time. 60 seconds. Right, something just don't, you know, something, yeah, something about it just don't add up. Uh, right, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, he's a high profile, you know what I'm saying, prison too. So it's yeah. like it's kind of odd that the fact that you know it's just it's just crazy. Then the whole fifteen million dollars, which was his daughter, I don't know. It's I have a, a, a um, I have a quick question that I would like for you to answer for me. Since he uh, killed himself in jail, do you think that the family should be able to sue the jail because he was supposed to be in a protected environment Absolutely. and he was able to actually kill himself in jail, just like if someone would have got killed in jail in a facility where it's supposed to be monitored. Ten seconds. We don't say as messed up as it may seem because even though they're prisoners, prisoners have rights. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do feel that the family does have the right to have, you know what I'm saying, to, to sue in some form of way for a monetary value. You know what I mean? Like in that sense. I, I agree. I think they should. Exactly. That... People may not agree because they're all either murderer, but still, these prisoners, they have rights. You know, it's, it's system that we have. 
that institution is definitely liable for that death. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody right. dropped the ball on that watch. Right. Like, why is it that these? Yeah, I don't know. That's just funny. Like, he's a high-profile prisoner. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, man. So that's that's some more bread that. Yeah. Look, I'm I'm like a chicken head. That's some more bread that's gonna go to that little girl. <laughs> He gonna step forward and say I was his I'm son. I'm the daddy. No, Look. he gonna be like I was his son too. Uh, yep, I'm about to go shave my head, lighten up my skin a little bit. I'm Bugsy Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming forth. But yo, D, we appreciate your call, my dude. That's our show for the night. Not All right. All right Thanks for calling in. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show for tonight. Thanks for calling in. Um, this was the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. It was season two, episode 32. We've been talking about the Aaron Hernandez suicide. Make sure you guys tune in this Sunday for the Clapback Calamity, hosted by Sunny Winters and L. Bugs at 7 p.m. And I think this week we have the Monday quarterback starting on Mondays at 7 p.m. with Sarge. So we'll keep you guys posted if that's going to start this Monday. But other than that, if we don't hear from you, have a good weekend. Catch you on Tuesday. We are out of here. Peace. Talk, baby, yo, never been so high. That's why I keep the lock with Gonzo after dark. Gonzo crew out the box. Came all the way from the block. Five weeks at a time. Got her like a melodic. Honey, went to Delgar. Clap that calamity. Survival. There's politics. Revolutionary family. Overseas and abroad. Militant with aggression. Fighting all wrong. It's all about progression. I ain't so with MVP. Of course, with the high tech. Analyze the game. Listen to the side deck. There's always a story behind the numbers. Pull up the chart. Characters on the hunt. Yeah, guys, and what bugs in Prince. Down south to the traffic. Tokyo City. We the voice to the people. Live in interviews. Social life and news. Games and gossip too. Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo, Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo, Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo, Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo at the dog. Gonzo at the dog. It's a wrap, y'all.